What's good, YouTube? It's Platinum. I am coming to you today to share with you my version of doing a pedicure, one of my favorite things. Um, I will go to the nail salon and get my feet done quicker than I will these. And the reason why these don't ever done, because I'm always in water, and to me, it's just, from previous experience, I just found out it was a hot mess. And uh, I know people say, like, wear gloves. I'm allergic to latex. And I have yet to find the long, <clears throat> the extended pair of gloves that are not, that are non-latex. Anyways, with that being said, um... You want to start off with the towel. This could be for the hands to wipe your hands because at some point your hands are going to be getting wet or oily. You need to dry them off to use certain utensils. And you want to start off with a, a towel. And you will also need a. Sorry, you guys. That was my timer to let me know that my chicken is done. <laughs> um, but anyway, with a foot massage, um, you want to clean it out first if someone used it prior to you. But I usually keep clean mine's out when after I use it. But I um, use hot water, and I put a little lemon juice in there, and this is what I use for the cleanser. I use that because I have sensitive skin, very sensitive skin. That's why I have nothing on today because my face started getting really irritated. So y'all getting it raw today, y'all. Yeah, real raw. Nothing at all, as you can tell. But um, you want to pre-treat your feet with. Some type of moisturizer or softener. And this is what I use. This foot rice and shine. And it's a foot scrub. I'll open it up and show you guys what it's working with. It basically kind of smells like rice and a little bit of oatmeal. You want to saturate your feet with that top and bottom. But just try to stay away from your cuticles because you're going to put something else in your cuticles. I honestly don't remember where I got this from. And this is almond butter scent, which I shouldn't be using because I'm allergic to all nuts. But um, anyway, I know I got this from Dollar Tree for a dollar. This is a cuticle softener. And you put this all around the perimeter of your cuticles. Now, if your cuticles are really thick and coarse and hard, I would recommend using this. This is by e.l.f. and it's a nourishing cuticle pen with avocados and again almonds, something I shouldn't be using. I think I got this from Target for a dollar, but this is really, really good, like seriously. It has like a little felt tip on it and being that I'm so heavy handed, it's kind of pushed back in there, but you can pull it out it's, and it's really oily if you can see. Like, see how it is? Yeah, this does wonders. But, yeah. Like that, if your cuticles are really hard and coarse and thick, leave that on for like 10 minutes. And then, put your feet in the water. Now, me, I like to soak a long time. You know, which each feet is different. Depends on your circumstances of your feet. Um... You want to take your feet out you want to use I don't have the proper utensil to put your cuticles back but I usually have this certain instrument what I do not have now um, push your cuticles back and you can use this to cut your cuticles if your nails are extremely long or you want to cut them short this is a toenail 
clipper. And oh, and if you're doing someone's and if you're doing someone else's feet, you want to use these gloves. When I do my baby's pedicure, I don't put on gloves because I don't have a problem with touching her feet. Okay, whatever. But um, yeah. There's a couple ways that you can get rid of dead calluses. Now, I have a huge problem with that, so I'm going to start off. Now, if you are new to this and you're nervous using certain utensils, you can use this if your feet are really soft. This is just something that's on both sides. It's not really um, going to be too harsh on your feet. I'm going to show you my favorite thing because I have bad calluses on my feet. Like my feet crack really bad because I have eczema and it's on the bottom of my feet as well. You can't look at it and see, but my heels have a tendency to crack. So this is my favorite thing. This gets it done. I've been using this for years. Now they no longer let you use these in the um, salons or when you go to get your pedicure done because they're considered doing a surgical procedure. Any type of blade where you're this is um, illegal in the salon. So I know here where I'm at, um, I'm originally from Boston, but I have moved from Boston to Atlanta to Rhode Island. And right now I'm like 40 minutes away from home, my hometown, which is Boston. I'm in Rhode Island. In Rhode Island, they're not using these anymore. When I was in, Bo um, prior to the salon I used to go to in Boston, I have found out they're no longer using these anymore. When I was in Atlanta, they was using them. but the technician would say, would you like, is it okay if I use this? And I'm like, yeah, please do. So you can use that. And if you're scared of these or you're not uncomfortable with this, you can use this. This is the egg pack. You can get that at Walgreens, CVS, order it online. This is the best thing if you're nervous with that. And it's just a little scraper. And your um, dead, dead calluses will fall in here. And you can just imp it out and dispose of that. So after that, you know, scrape your feet up real, real good, soften down. You want to rinse, dump the water, come back and let it sit some more. And you can do this to hit them corners of your heels. You see how it's angled? This is a good instrument for the heels to soften them up as well. You can use this to shape up your nails. You can use this as a buffer, it's like three, this actually came from the mall, it was like a whole set of oils and finger to paw, so my babe bought that, but I don't even know, it was from the mall, and you can use this as well. Now, when I'm in the tub or showering, as you can see, I killed this, I used this religiously, and um, I got, it was about this thick, I got this from Sally's Beauty Supply, I believe it was $5, talking fast around because my time has run out. But um, after you have soaked your feet, did your cuticles and everything, you want to treat your nails with this. This is what I use as a nail treatment because you just did a little rough, you know, so I use that. You want to polish, choose your nails polish. I'm choosing this today, orange color. And then I'm going to use this. This is quick. A hurry up it's a, it dries your nails really quick and this is really good it's 399 got that from Sally I literally had this like for years is almost gone I hope they still carry it and as a top coat for shine and a little glitter I'm gonna use this um, it's called and this is so pretty you see all the beautiful colors in it ladies it's, it's, it's really gorgeous and I would use that as the final coat um, oh, and if you have this, um, as you may know, if you do, it comes with um, replaceable blades because at some point in time, if you keep using it, it's going to become dull. So, um, and when you paint your toes, use these to separate your toes, especially if you got them um, toe knockers that's going over each other, you know, and hold it. Yeah, you want to use this to separate your toes. And this is so good. After this is completed, I spray my feet down with this. This is from Avon. My baby bought this for me. It was like she got the lotion, the soap, and I don't know where the other two are that came with it. But this is peppermint. There's a green tea mint. It feels so, so good on your feet, ladies, afterwards. And then finally, after that, put that on. This is what I use. It's Johnson. 
It says bedtime touch massage gel. And this feels so good. It leaves your feet feeling so soft. And I massage my feet and get it in. And that's pretty much it, ladies. And yeah, simple. Simple, so simple. So I'm, another way to save money. You know what I'm saying? As you know, if you watch my videos, I'm a cheap bitch. I'm big on savings, coupons, doubling up coupons, hitting them sale items, stocking up when they're on sale. But, um, yeah, y'all use some coupons, girl. But, um, as always, ladies, keep it sexy. And if you thumbs up, that's what's up. And if you thumbs down, tell a bitch why, because I'm so, so interested and knowing what my haters have to say. With that being said, as the Daily PSA, deuces.